Experiment 6, Synthesis of Lidocaine. Begin by adding 0.1 moles of your tin chloride to your 125 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. Then dissolve the solid by adding 40 mils of your concentrated hydrochloric acid and stirring well. Use hot water from the sink to aid in dissolving your tin chloride. While your tin chloride is dissolving, you're going to grab a clean 250 ml Erlenmeyer flask and add 0.33 moles of your 2,6 dimethyl nitrobenzene followed by 50 ml of glacial acetic acid. Now that your tin chloride solution is dissolved, Transfer it to that glacial acetic acid mixture that you just created. Swirl to combine and then let sit at room temperature for 15 minutes so that solid can crash out. During this 15 minute wait, set up your vacuum filtration apparatus. Now you're going to filter the white solid that has been produced during the reaction. Then transfer the solid to a clean 250 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. Now you're going to add 25 milliliters of deionized water to your Erlenmeyer flask. Then begin to slowly add 40 to 50 milliliters of 8 molar aqueous potassium hydroxide solution to make your solution strongly basic. Set up your separatory funnel while the solution is cooling. You'll see a yellow layer that is formed on top. This is actually your aniline product. Now you're going to add your first portion of ether to your flask, swirl, and then transfer to your receptory funnel. Add your stopper to your receptory funnel, and then thoroughly mix with shaking. You'll recall that the density of ether is lighter than water, so you'll expect that the ether layer was on top, and you'll notice this as a yellow hue. Now you need to have two Erlenmeyer flasks, one which you've labeled for your aqueous layer and another for which you've labeled for the organic layer. Now return the aqueous layer to the separatory funnel. Rinse with fresh ether and separate once again. Now we're going to wash the organic layer, so return the organic layer to the separatory funnel and add 10 mils of water, shake well, and then separate. When you collect the bottom layer, you don't have to pour out the organic layer this time. We're going to wash again with a fresh portion of 10 mils of water. Again, collect the water layer and then transfer the organic layer to your organic flask. After the final wash of your ether, you're going to add anhydrous potassium carbonate to remove water from your organic layer. Now that your organic layer is dry, you're going to gravity filter into a 250 milliliter round bottom glass to remove the potassium carbonate from your solution. Place your round bottom on the road of app to remove the ether. Then you're going to weigh the product and move on to part B. Transfer your 2,6 dimethylaniline to your 250 ml Erlenmeyer flask using a pipette. Then add 25 ml of your glacial acetic acid using a portion to rinse your round bottom flask. Now add 0.033 moles of alpha chloroacetyl chloride. The order of this addition is important. Now add your flask to a hot tap water bath to warm your solution. While that solution is warming, you're going to place 5 grams of sodium acetate trihydrate in a clean Erlenmeyer flask. Dissolve this using 100 ml of deionized water. Now check the temperature of the flask in the hot water bath. Once it has reached the desired temperature, remove it from the bath and place on the bench. Now add the sodium acetate solution directly to the flask containing the alpha chloroacetyl chloride solution. You will immediately see a formation of smoke and white solid. 
place the flask in an ice water bath and cool for at least 15 minutes. While you're waiting on your product to chill in the ice water bath, set up your vacuum filtration apparatus. Then dampen your filter paper using a small amount of cold water. And then begin to filter your product, swirling the flask as you go so that you collect as much product from the flask as possible. Then rinse the solid using a small amount of cold water so that you remove any remaining acid. Place a piece of filter paper on top of your solid and press. This is to aid in removing water from your solid. Once sufficiently dry, remove the solid. This is your alpha chlor 26 dimethyl acetyl analyte product. You will leave this solid product to dry in your drawer until next week. Clean your glassware for next week with acetone before you leave. To a 100 ml round bottom flask, you're gonna add your alpha chlor 26 dimethyl acetyl aniline that you made last week. You're gonna follow this by adding 45 ml of toluene. Then add three moles of diethylamine per mole of your acetyl aniline product. Make sure you have a stow bar in your round bottom flask. Then connect it to your reflux condenser. Place your reflux system into a preheated heating mantle. You're going to start a vigorous reflux. Once you've reached reflux, you need to allow it to stir for 90 minutes. Remove the heating mantle after 90 minutes and allow the flask to cool down to room temperature. Now you need to filter off any solid that has formed using a vacuum filtration system. Rinse the solid with cold hexanes. The solid that has formed during reflux is a byproduct. It can now be disposed of into the waste. Set up a separatory funnel. Then transfer the toluene filtrate to the funnel. You're going to wash this twice using 25 ml portions of 3 molar HCl. If you recall the toluene density, you'll realize that the organic layer is on top. Since you're using acid today, be sure to vent during shaking. After removing the aqueous layer, since toluene is on top, we can leave the organic layer. Then we'll add our second portion of HCl directly to the septory funnel. Transfer your organic layer to its Erlenmeyer flask. Transfer your combined aqueous layers into a 250 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. Now you're going to make your solution strongly basic by adding 50 milliliters of 8 molar KOH. We're expecting a cloudy and white solution to form. Now you need to check the pH by dipping a stir rod into the flask and tapping the solution onto pH paper. Check that the pH is greater than 10. If not, add small portions of KOH until you reach 10. Now you're going to make your salt ice water bath. Generously salt. If you do not add enough salt, then your water will not achieve the correct temperature to form crystalline lidocaine. This is important since it's fairly difficult to crystallize out lidocaine. It can take up to 30 minutes with vigorous scratching and agitation. Once you've formed a fair amount of crystals, vacuum filter the lidocaine crude. Rinse with cold water. Continue to pull air over your solid for 15 minutes so that it is dried. Transfer your crude to a 125 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask for crystallization. If you have a poor crude yield, consider setting aside a small portion for TLC and melting point in case during crystallization you do not get any solid back. Place a flask of hexanes into a boiling water bath. Add small amounts of hexane to your lidocaine until it is completely dissolved. It is important to use as little hexanes as possible to ensure that you'll have lidocaine crystallized back out. Now place your flask in an ice water bath to allow for recrystallization. Once crystals have formed, vacuum filter your purified lidocaine. 
you can wash with a small portion of very cold hexanes. Pull air over your solid so that it is completely dry before going on to use in further analysis such as TLC and melting point. 